Lots of people build tribal commander decks, but not all tribes are as equal as others. So I want to take some time to highlight some of the lesser played tribes, why they struggle in commander, and some ways you can make them a little bit better. Now, when I say tribal, I'm talking about decks that have a commander with a type that all or most of the creatures in the deck also share. We're also generally looking to avoid running too many changelings as that kind of defeats the purpose of a tribal deck. Today, we are looking at the Unicorn Tribe, a group that has been around since Alpha, but has been receiving some serious support over the last few years. On EDA track, they have about 300 decks, but with only 27 members, they're still quite a small tribe to work with. All Unicorns are in white or green, with most being in mono white. Notably, Unicorns and Horses are different tribes within Magic, with Unicorns being magical creatures with a single horn, and Horses being magical creatures without a horn. Pretty important difference there, and I'm glad we make that distinction. The first Unicorn ever printed was Pearl Unicorn, way back in Alpha, with the second, Atakar Unicorn, printed a few years later in Ice Age. Notably, Atakar Unicorn has a blue mana symbol in it, making it the only blue identity Unicorn in the entire tribe. More recently, we've seen Steadfast Unicorn in Battle for Baldur's Gate last year, and Celestial Unicorn in Adventures of the Forgotten Realms a few years ago. The real stars of the tribe, however, are the two legendary unicorns that help bring this tribe from obscurity into something worth playing, with Lathiel the Bounteous Dawn and Emil the Blessed. Lathiel is a 2-2 for 2, a green and a white that has lifelink, and puts plus 1 plus 1 counters on your creatures in the end step if you've gained life. Plus 1 plus 1 counters and life gain are two powerful and popular strategies in green-white with both colours doing that really well. And it's something Emil does as well. Emil the Blessed is a 4-4 for 2 and 2 white that reads, pay 3 mana and you can exile another creature and return to the battlefield under its owner's control. Along with, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay a white or a green, and if you do, you put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on that creature. Importantly for the tribe, if that creature is a unicorn, you instead put 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it instead. Lathiel is a good commander, but Emil is almost broken. With a flicker ability that only costs 3 mana, it's an infinite combo machine in the command zone. Not only that, but he even has extra synergy for unicorns, which is great for a tribal build. There's no real need to look outside the tribe for commanders with these guys, as they are both in green-white, which covers almost every member of the tribe, and both have great abilities for the tribe to build around. I think both are viable for tribal unicorns, so we'll talk about both options a little bit later when we look at the best builds for this. Moving on to the creatures, and we can see one of the biggest themes throughout the tribe is that of life gain, which also synergizes well with our commanders. We have Brightmere, Splendormare, Majestic Alicorn, Mesa Unicorn, Revered Unicorn, and Zebra Unicorn. All of these can help enable Lathiel, and also allow us to run other life gain synergy pieces to make the deck stronger. There's a bit less synergy for our plus one plus one counters, with only Celestial Unicorn and Good Fortune Unicorn, However, since that's stable to our commanders, the creatures can just use those counters to get bigger. They don't necessarily have to synergize with the counters. There are also several pump effects in the tribe as well, with Steadfast Unicorn, Daybreak Charger, and Inspiring Unicorn, so we definitely have enough ways to make our unicorns into big threats. Some of the other themes in the tribe include Enchantment Destruction with Roman Unicorn and Capuchin Unicorn, both of which help a removal package in a deck like this. We also have Noble Quarry and Prize Unicorn that helps force our opponents to block on attacks, which is great for swinging in for damage with our other unicorns. There is an interesting tap theme as well, with Brightmare and Captivating Unicorn that, again, can help remove blockers to get our hits in. And lastly, we have Valorous Steed and Lonesome Unicorn, which can make Knight Tokens, which kind of weird for the tribe, but worth mentioning since we can use them to help fill out our board. Since this is a small tribe, with only 26 potential members in the green-white colour identity, the other unicorns worth mentioning are Opaline Unicorn for a mana creature, Loyal Unicorn and Benevolent Unicorn, which help prevent damage, and Wishmonger, who any player can use to give protection, and is most likely not worth playing due to how risky that is. Outside of the creatures, we have one enchantment, Blessed Sanctuary, that can make unicorn tokens. Pretty good for our tribe, especially with the meal as the commander, since every time we flicker a unicorn, we'd get another unicorn token. Unicorns are also featured on card art at times as well, with Life's Legacy, Circle of Dreams Druid, and Distinguished Conjurer being notable for the commander format. Well worth including for the tribal themes, even if they don't really fit in within the tribe mechanically. When we start talking about how they can be built, we need to look at both commanders, as they want slightly different decks. Lathiel is going to be focused around life gain, so you can turn all that life into counters and big unicorns. For that, we want all the non-creature staples, such as Authority of the Consoles, Blind Obedience, Pristine Talisman, and True Conviction. It may even be worth running some pure life gain, like Beacon of Immortality or Congregate, since these would produce so many counters at the end of turn. 
Lathiel also has lifelink, so running some Voltron cards like Blackblade Reforged to make him big is also another good source of life gain. On the other hand, we have Emil, who is going to care more about our creatures with Enter the Battlefield effects. They are going to work the best with the unicorns that make tokens, but really most of the tribe doesn't have effects that synergize with this very well. At a stretch, you could make Infinite Mana with Circle of Dreams Druid, Lightning Greaves, and Emil, but that's not really as tribal as I'd like to do. You'd want to lean on other enchantments that care about creatures entering the battlefield, like Guardian Project, Cathar's Crusade, and Sylvan Anthem. Out of the two of them, Lathiel is definitely the better choice for a tribal deck, as the ability just lends itself better to what the other members of the tribe are already doing, and helps building a more tribal combat style deck. I think a mill is a stronger commander overall though, so if you're okay mixing in non-unicorns into your tribal deck, it could be a very good unicorn themed flicker deck. Either way, your deck is going to be built around plus one plus one counters, as both commanders do that really well. So cards like Doubling Season, Hardened Scales, Felidar Retreat and Inspiring Call are all cards you're going to want to look to run. This is good for the tribe, as the small members can use these counters to come real threats at the table if they're not dealt with. So what's the verdict for this tribe? Well, I'm actually really impressed. Despite their obviously low numbers, they synergize really well together and have two viable commanders that do things the tribe supports. They do lack a little punch with no particularly big members, but the plus one plus one counters theme they have going really helps building up threats. While life gain is their strongest theme, their ability to destroy enchantments and ruin blockers are also very good for a combat focused deck, like they seem to want to be. Overall I have to rate them as a borderline tribe, where the only real downside is the lack of members within the tribe to pick from. It's really easy to see why so many people are playing them as a tribal deck, as they seem like a lot of fun with some really cool build around themes. I particularly like the Lathiel deck, as it seems just a great way to do plus one plus one counters without it being the normal Simic value fest that most plus one plus one counter decks seem to be. Looking to the future, given another 10 members or so, they would easily become a good tribe to build around, giving you enough choices to avoid running the worst couple of unicorns that aren't much better than just a body on the battlefield. They don't need another commander to get stronger either, and their current power level isn't bad, so they are definitely a tribe worth watching as we go forward. That'll do for this video though, and finish up this series of tribes. We'll come back to some more again in the future to be sure, so leave a suggestion in the comments if there's a tribe you think would be interesting to look at in a video like this. Since I recorded this video, and put up the last one, I've moved to a new city and started a new job, so as you might expect, content has been a little bit slower. On the upside, I no longer have to record next to an open window beside a busy road, but it has slowed things down a bit. I hope to get back on top of things soon. And, although I missed a deck tech for March of the Machines, I plan to be back with another one when the next set comes out, along with any other video ideas like this one. So until next time, thanks for watching.